Hey guys, my name's Louie and I would like to thank you for stopping by my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this cork letter T. Okay, so getting started, you'll need a wood letter like this one here. I purchased this at Michael's for about three or four dollars. I don't really remember, but when I was there, I did notice that they had a bunch of the fancier cut out letters with the curly ends. I personally don't suggest doing that just because you're going to have to cut and trim the corks to fit those more complicated edges. And the straighter the edge, the less turns, the easier this project is. And this step right here is completely optional. The reason I'm painting the letter is because when I start laying the corks down, there will be some gaps in between them. And this just helps camouflage those gaps. So right here I am showing off my wide collection of wine corks and this is the most time consuming step out of the entire project. What you'll need to do is to make cutting them easier, boil your corks in a pot of water for 30 minutes. When they come out you're going to notice that they're swollen and they're, they're so much bigger but they're also a lot easier to cut and trim. They won't crumble or at least they won't crumble as easy when you, when you slice through them. Before you start slicing and dicing, please pay attention to where you're cutting because if you notice, these companies do a double stamp on both sides of the cork. So when you slice, you can have a backup or you can choose to use the same image on your project. And that little, this piece right here that I am showing you with the colored in, you can also just cut that right off and use that as a filler for those odd shaped gaps on your, on your letter. So personally, this is my favorite step of the entire project. And if you enjoy doing puzzles, you too will probably enjoy this step. Here we're taking all those cork pieces that we just finished trimming and we're going to start placing them on the letter the way we want them displayed when we finalize the project. At this point there are no rules, just start laying them down the way you want them. Don't be afraid to cut and trim these corks to fit these smaller and weirder gaps that you can kind of see. I have displayed on my letter right now so wing it and have fun with this step but please do not start hot gluing until after everything has been laid out and placed the way you want it start gluing on those corks. Take your hot glue gun and put plenty of glue on the back of them. My little tidbit is doing a figure eight. I found that that puts on the precise amount needed and it puts it on the majority of the back of the cork without wasting too much glue. And I did this project several months back using a different letter and I noticed that one day it just randomly started spinning off corks. Those were the ones that had a very thin layer behind them. I've always heard less is more, but in this case, throw that out the window. Figure eight is enough, I promise. Again, I would like to thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And if you have any feedback, please put that down in the comments below and I will gladly use that to help improve my videos in the future. Also, if you do have questions about this project, feel free to put those in the comments as well and I'll be happy to answer any of those questions you may have. Again, this is the first of many videos I will be posting, so please check back routinely and I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you, bye.